go to the scope of the research, uh, first of all, let's understand uh, the names and titles that we're working on. So to have a look at the organizational system of Vietnam, the organizational system of Vietnam is divided into three uh, branches. The first branch is the La Show branch. And here we are in a circle, in a red circle, the administrative branch, which uh, includes the government and the highest person is the president. So the names and titles that we are working on are, first of all, the organization's names such as Bộ Công nghiệp Sở Thế Vụ or the Công Kê SS Role or the official titles such as Chủ nhiệm Vụ trưởng, Vụ trưởng, Trưởng Ban SS Role. The translation strategies that I focus on in this research is first of all the translation equivalents. Of course, after research or clearer, for example, the People's Committee, we can add in information in the form of entity, for example, provincial or communal, or we can add in the form of um, frog names, for example, we have People's Committee of Hanoi City or People's Committee of Marine District. So you see the translation look clearer. And next, the last procedures for this library is uh, nationalization. So nationalization is used for uh, the translation of crop names. So uh, it's just, I just uh, want to remind you that if we translate uh, these, the crop names into English, which it's advisable that we translate these names following the Western style. For example, we need to omit the diacritics and also the word gap. Okay, so let's go to the last time administrative system of uh, the Republic of France. And here is the Prime Minister, so under the Prime Minister of Ministries. So also in France, they also use the word ministries. And the word ministry is also used in many other countries such as the UK, Spain, Canada, Thailand, etc. Uh, these countries do have a Prime Minister, so probably uh, under the Prime Minister of uh, Ministries. It's a little bit different in the uh, United States of America because they do not have a prime minister. Instead of a prime minister, they have a secretary of state. So under the secretary of state are all departments. Those are departments. So instead of using the word ministry, they use the word departments. Uh, by applying the same procedures, we can have a bit, which is equivalent to academy or university or begin view, which is equivalent to institute. So please be noticed that if we lack of knowledge about the cultural meaning of the words, it will lead to lots of mistakes. For example, in the translation of uh, the organizations, Viet Quang Học Công in Vietnamese. So the current translation of this organization is Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology. I don't think that this is a, an appropriate translation because the organization focuses more on uh, doing research and they do provide very little education. So a more proper translation for it should be Vietnam Institute of Science and Technology. And the same situation happened to the translation of Viet Quang Học, Viet Quang Hệ Quốc Tế, Viet Quang Hệ Quốc Tế, which directly belongs to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So I think that a more proper name for it should be the Academy for International Relations. Uh, next we go to the um, one-to-many equivalents. When it comes to one-to-many equivalents, the translation case becomes more complicated because with one finds a more general terms in English. For example, in Vietnam, we have the terms like thôn ấp, bản phun song. So these names, these names are really hard to understand, even for the Vietnamese. So, in this case, we should translate this name into hamlet or village. That's enough for our tổ dân phố, khu dân phố, we should translate that it as residential area. Okay, so here are, I hereby have some suggestions for my, um, the translation, first of all, for MOFA circular. I think that it's good to have a standard set up by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. However, first of all, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs should have their translation instruction clearer. Uh, for example, the translation of the two terms Actually, in Vietnamese, they are in different levels and they are totally different. So is higher than 
and objects. Why do they have the same title for these two positions? So how can we tell the difference between them? So my solution is that we should apply the descriptive equivalent or functional equivalent. So the function should be translated as head of general department, or the function should be translated as director general of department. And uh, the translation of proper name. Uh, so <clears throat> we can have the two ways to translate this name: Vietnam this way without diacritics and no word gap. Vietnam this, this way without diacritics. And word gap and Vietnam this way, totally Vietnamese. So I think my suggestion is that when we translate this name into English, if we want to follow the Western style, it should be 100% Western style. If we want to translate that the Vietnamese style, it should be 100% Vietnamese style and should not translate that half Vietnamese, half English like this. I think that it's really uh, say, unprofessional. And letter for the current translation of each organization. I think that the translation should be made more comprehensive because the fact is that many organizations now in Vietnam uh, have their own translations. Uh, and it will make them different to the others. And second, uh, the translation should be made more accurate. For example, the translation of Bukchuk. Should it be general director or director general? The translation or the answer is we should use the term director general. And so it should be inspector general instead of general uh, inspector. And one last point, Bukache, so the translation of Bukache should be uh, Department of Legal Affairs or Legislative Department. Actually, we have to understand that anything refers to regarding to legislative or legislation means that means the establishment or the insurance of policy. We are and the only in Vietnam, the only body that can issue the policy and the law is the Navy and the title, which are impossible to translate into English. So uh, the suggestion is that we apply functional equivalent. 